Welcome back. We were just inside that cave grabbing some peppermint. And now we're going to explore the rest of the island. Alexander is standing at the top of tall cliffs. To the north is the peak of a mountain rising to meet the clouds. To the left is an ominous set of bolted doors. Mm. Huge doors are set into the solid rock of the mountain. In the distance, Alexander can see the peak of a majestic mountain rising into the clouds. Let's go up there first. Up. Look, an intruder! Hold! How did you get up here, human? I climbed the cliffs. That is not possible. No one has solved the cliffs of logic in several centuries. And if the cliffs were to be solved, it would certainly not be by a human. I... I didn't mean to trespass. I only wanted to visit this beautiful island. No visitors have been welcome on the Isle of the Sacred Mountain in years. Not since the Red and White Queens had spies in the guise of friendly visitors steal our island's sacred golden fleece. But we will not display such foolish trust again. You will have to answer to Lord Azure and Lady Ariel. They will determine what will be done with you. I can assure you, it will not be pleasant. So, their golden place was stolen, and the Island of Wonder had their singing stone missing. Hmm. With what trickery did you master the Cliffs of Logic and reach the city of the Winged Ones? Only the magic of clear thought, my lord. I meant no harm. The Cliffs of Logic. It is the sacred oracle's prophecy, Azure. Yes, Ariel. Hmm. It is lucky for you, human, that climbing the Cliffs of Logic is part of a Very prophecy lucky. that I cannot ignore. We have just been ordered by Wazir Al-Hazred himself to dispose of any strangers that might land on our fair isle. But the prophecy would have a different fate befall you. The prophecy predicts that whosoever climbs the Cliffs of Logic will defeat the Minotaur. Oh, the Minotaur has violated our sacred catacombs and eats our young in sacrifice. Our own daughter, Lady Celeste, was taken there only this morning as his most recently demanded offering. A dilemma, then. Whom shall I obey in regards to your fate? The Oracle or the Crown? But since al Hazred did not dictate how I was to dispose of intruders, and since you cannot possibly survive the catacombs, your imprisonment there should serve both purposes quite admirably. I will not resist you in this, my lord. I shall do my best to save your daughter. Hmm. First, I must tell you that the catacombs are a labyrinth of rooms, a place of exceeding danger. You will need many tools and clear wits to survive it. I am ready. Very well. My guards will take you there now. You seem courageous enough, but the catacombs will determine how brave you really are. <laughs> We'll see about that. They haven't for me. Why are they bothering to bring sacrifices to this thing? I think we can just put a guard here or lock this thing up. Why did you tell Lord Azure you were ready and willing to face the catacombs? No one is ever ready, and only a fool could be willing. And you are far wiser, I suppose. To leave a maiden to die? To not fight this plague on your own people? Bravery and suicide are two different things, human. You will have a chance to renounce your choice soon enough, when you lay trembling under the Minotaur's hooves. We shall see. Thanks for the escort. We only escort you to your death. May the fates make it quick so that you do not have to scream long. <laughs> Guess I'm screwed now.
the catacomb's entrance door is locked from the outside by the winged one's guards. It seems that leaving the catacombs by that door is not an hmm. option. So the best way to get through here is to just get some kind of walkthrough or a map. Because really it's going to be trial and error, you'll be building your own maps. There's some things in here you really need later on. Several unfortunate souls haunt the room. These bones seem more recent than the ancient catacomb bones that Alexander has seen so far. Perhaps they were victims of the Minotaur, or perhaps they died while wandering lost in the maze. Three of the remain three of the skeletons are completely intact. But no flesh. Need this right here. Alexander picks up the skull. Now go back down. I'm gonna backtrack a bit. Alexander hears the distant sounds of a wild animal somewhere in the maze of rooms. Now you'd think these animals are helping lead the way, but uh, don't trust them. They're not necessarily lying, they're just not helpful in any way, shape, or form. And here's another one of our copyright control mechanisms. You see these symbols on the floor? There is absolutely no way you could know this you would have to have a manual to pass through this section of the game. So even if you borrowed your friend's game manual once for the first part, you're going to have to get it back from him again if you made a copy. It's just one way to make it very, very difficult to spread this game around. These symbols are hard to draw. Um, I guess you could have used a photocopier, but they wanted to slow down copyright infringement, which was very common even back then through sharing of discs, copying of discs. So here's our next puzzle. I'm just going to follow my strategy guide again. Be very careful. One at a time and make sure you're clicking on the right space. Go to get shot full of arrows. Grab the shield off the wall here. Alexander takes the shield from the wall. Then continue going north. Like I said, it's very easy to get lost in here. And actually, my first time back playing this, I got lost several times. So just be very thorough in following your directions. Niches in the wall form stone burial beds. Ancient bones lie crumbling on the unyielding rock. Alexander notices that this skeleton has old coins over its eyes. Payment to cross the river sticks. Alexander finds two coins on the skeleton's eyes. 
he takes the old coins. All right. Go back the way we came. Now this next room, if you were not prepared, you will die in this room. It's a trap. The doors have sealed Alexander inside. And no! the ceiling is coming down. Okay, so you grab this brick and you throw it into the gears in here. In a desperate move, Alexander throws a brick into the grinding gears. The brick is caught between two cogs. The gears shriek and shudder. The mechanism grinds to a halt. The ceiling is stuck. The trap is sprung. Oh no! Sounds! A trap floor! Alexander seems to have fallen to a lower level of the catacombs. Wherever he is, the place sure is dark. Alexander can't even see his hand in front of his face. Okay. You kind of need to hurry on this if you wait too long. I remember there being some kind of death here. Get your tinderbox out. Alexander takes the candle from his tinderbox and uses the flint in the box to light it. I think it was a rat Aha! eating you alive so or something that's like that. why it's dark in here. A torch is out. Alexander wonder how the extinguished torch and puts his tinderbox away. I mean, it would take a lot of effort to get these torches lit. Can they really run this long without needing to be changed? Unless they're like tiki torches and they just pour a little fuel in there. That'd be kind of cheap. Five panels west. It doesn't even look like a passageway here, but you gotta go south here. South again. It's a real maze. Everything looks the same. Alexander hears the sound of a wild beast again. This time, so loud that the creature itself seems to be in the same room with him. The noises are coming from the other side of the east wall. Now, here's another trick. Take your hole in the wall. Put him right here. Alexander puts the hole in the wall on the east wall. The hole in the wall trembles slightly with dread at the clammy feeling of the stones. And now you gotta quickly look through him. Alexander peers through the hole in the wall and sees just another room in the catacombs. Oh. Wait! What's that? Aha! Not just another room at all. So that's why Alexander couldn't find the Minotaur's lair. At least Alexander now knows the lair exists somewhere in the maze on the other side of this wall. While Alexander contemplates what he's just seen, the hole in the wall, frightened by the Minotaur, makes a run for it. 
Alexander hopes the little creature finds its way home to the Isle of Wonder. Unlikely. Anyway, that's all the time I have now. I'll see you on the next episode, where we finally confront the Minotaur.